Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of DJI Fridays here on your channel, PR Sky Views. My name is Emanuel Santiago, and before we continue with this video, I want to give thanks to all the subscribers. We are almost at the 1000 subscriber mark. And yes, YouTube is already sending me emails and messages that I am very close to be eligible for the monetization program. Now, with that out of the way, if you are new here and you are not subscribed, consider subscribing, consider helping me because I am pumping out reviews, um, real world testing of this electronics, cameras, drones, everything that has to be with photography and videography. And yes, tutorials so you can benefit and you can streamline your workflows back there on your own productions. So on today's episode, we're going to be talking about my favorite drone of this year, the DJI Avara. And as you may all know or seen, I fly my Avara with the GoPro Hero 10 bones on top of it. And I found that the quality that this drone is able to produce is it's really, really awesome. It, it is very near near perfection for me and my workflow because the file sizes are good. The video codecs, they work really, really fast on my M1 uh, Mac right now. I am really amazed by how streamlined the workflow is be, um, because of the updated GoPro Real Steady software, as well as the gyro flow uh, that stabilizes your footage out of the Avara. Those things are blazing fast, no more hour and a half, two hours of wait. So some of you may be like, oh, another Avara video, but I have found that this last update, some friends of mine have been telling me, oh, this update is not that great. It's not that big of a deal, but hey, I am a nerd. I like to pixel peep images. I like to compare um, color gradings, how it may affect my workflow and um, yeah, ease of use, all of the aspects of, uh, of an update. I like to test it, go out for myself, test it and bring you guys the real world testing results. And yes, my, to my surprise, the DJI Avara was deeply improved from that 10 bit color and the ability to shoot 4K 30 FPS, for me at least, it is a game changer because, ah, uh, game changer, that word, everything's been, everyone's been saying game changer later these days, but for me, it has been very, very uh, a nice addition to my arsenal because the DJI Avara, as you may all know, it is not the fastest drone, it is not a racing drone, so it is a little bit harder to get um, that motion blur. You have to be very, very near, very close to your subjects, uh, to your subjects or landscape in order to achieve great motion blur and with 30 fps i think that uh yeah the motion blur is really really awesome and the ability to uh half to use half of your shutter speed because if you are riding at 60 fps you will end up uh shooting everything at a shutter speed of one over 120 of a second and yes it is quite high the picture gets quite dark and um, yeah, that that could be a problem when you are uh, in some places and you want the colors and um, your exposure to be right on point. And the last question that I had myself about this update was, is it um, is the 10-bit color science enough to take the, the GoPro uh, Hero 10 bones off of my Avada as I have it right here. And well, let's see for ourselves. And yeah, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to be the judge and yeah, to provide some feedback. Um, tell me in the comment section, do you think after seeing this footage that the GoPro Hero 10 should stay on the Avada or well, or if it should go?
So in this first clip, you may see that the Avada uh, footage looks quite dark, and that is because I am shooting at 30 FPS, so I had to uh, put my ND32 filter uh, to get the right exposure and to get uh, the most detail out of that uh, particular golden hour that I was experiencing on my backyard. Um, to, to be exact, the GoPro Hero 10 Bones also had the exact same settings. It also had an ND32, but to my surprise, I don't know if it's the sensor that's bigger on the GoPro or the processor, uh, It's it picks up a lot more detail because it was very, very uh, clear. It was very, very bright compared to the DJI uh, Avada uh, stock footage. But what about color grading? Let's talk a little bit about color grading on uh, these two clips. And as you can see, the GoPro Hero 10, uh, among color grading, it is very, very nice. It has very, very uh, nice colors right out of the gate. And uh, yeah, amazing dynamic range. The details that you can see in this image, it is very well detailed image. As always, GoPro, um, with their action footage, it's very, very nice. But what about the Avara? The Avara, even though it was dark, man, it did recover a lot of detail with that 10-bit profile. It, the, the footage did not fall apart that much, I found. Uh, in the highlights, the quality excels. Um, in the Avada, both are very comparable, both GoPro and the Avada, in terms of the detail retention that they get. So, at this point, I was like, I need to see closer. I need to become that pixel peeper that I am. <laughs> and yes, I uh, found out some differences between the Avada and the GoPro, some advantages as well. And the first being that if you really close up into the image, you may see that the DJI Avada's footage, it is a little bit more noisy and it introduces a little bit of more of a, a flare on the video. I don't know if it's the ND filter or how the lens is constructed. And um, to my surprise, the, the GoPro, I don't know if it was uh, real steady, but it has a lot wider field of view. It's, it's about 20% more field of view than what uh, we are getting from the Avada. So in terms of field of view and um, details in the shadows, coloration uh, in the shadows as well, because the shadows may be turning a little bit more bluish on uh, the Avada as well as the detail is a little bit more lost in the Avada. The GoPro really excels in this department. So guys, but I'm not going to tell you guys to go out, spend your money, your hard earned money on a GoPro Hero 10 Bones just because of looks, because yes, the looks are very subjective, art is very subjective, and what is better to someone may be better to, may not be the best thing for another person. So in my case, I really like the quality of the GoPro and the workflow, it has been uh, streamlined very, very nicely. So uh, in instance, in my own opinion, I will be sticking to my GoPro Hero 10 Bones for paid work, but for more extreme jobs that require my drone to be more agile and even uh, faster, I think that for safety reasons, I will stick to the Avada drone because with, th with this update, with this game, change, game changer of an update, I think that the DJI Avada is really, really close on par with the quality that we're getting with the GoPro Hero 10 Bones. So guys, I'm gonna keep it short. And if you'd like to know how I mounted or I built this GoPro Hero 10 Bones on the DJI Avada, well, the installation process tutorial is in a link on the description below, as well as the uh, motor upgrades, the great motor upgrades that are the Axis Fly motors on the DJI Avada. I have a tutorial to mount those as well. And yes, it is step by step, easy to follow. And if you message me, I will be very, very glad and very happy to answer all of your questions and to share all of the information that I have on my side. So guys, I'm gonna leave you with some clips that I shot on my backyard. Once with the DJI Avada and the others with the GoPro Hero 10 Bones. So you guys can compare and see for yourself if the GoPro Hero 10 Bones is something that you might wanna get to, to be coupled with the DJI Avada or if the DJI Avada footage is uh, enough for you guys and your workflow. I think that the DJI Avada is really the best drone in 2022 and heading out into 2023. 
there, there, th it is, it will be very difficult to replace. See you guys in my next video.